Food Junkie 21. My name is Laraska and today I have my beautiful friend Karen Michelle here to help me. So I want you guys to help me welcome Karen Michelle to Food Junkie 21. <laughs> now she flew all the way here from Texas for one day just to be here with me so we can make some skillet lasagna well skillet vegetable lasagna with her famous salad okay so you just have to stay tuned to see exactly how we're gonna make this and the fun that we're gonna have all right if you like what i'm doing like comment subscribe and turn on your notifications karen is gonna help with breaking apart the lasagna for the skillet and i am going to do all the chopping chop chop Woo! Hey now, today I think we should break it apart. Okay! Hey! Drop it in the water. Green bell peppers. Mimsot carrots. Mm. One package of spinach. Mm. Some cilantro or coriander. Fresh out of the garden. I was so amazed by that when you told yes. me we were getting it out of the garden. Yes, and some green onions, but that should top it all off. And we have some pumpkin seeds, walnuts and mushrooms for our nut meat. Now you guys already have the recipe for that so you can just rewind and go to the other video that I have a video of the nut meat and you can see how All right, so first we are going to chop up our vegetables and um, I am going to mash the garlic five cloves. It looks like first though, first, first, first. Yeah, okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just going to mince it up. Then we're going to chop up our um, bell peppers, carrots, onions, and all that lovely stuff. Then what we're going to do is we are going to grab our oil. You can put your grapeseed oil, avocado seed oil, um, whatever your favorite oil is. Get to cooking. Right, got the oil in there. So now we are going to cut the onion and then start to saute it in the skillet along with the garlic. And see, my son has a game, so I gotta hurry up. I ain't got time to be trying to make some long-winded lasagna up in here. Like, I got, I'm making some skillet lasagna that's going to be quick. Even though it's not your normal traditional, we just going to change it up a bit. Just change it up a little bit. And my thing is to try to make meals in under 30 minutes because I got a busy schedule. But sometimes it don't happen like that. So, just got to make it do what it do. Alright. So, this is what it looks like. We're going to dump that in the skillet. We're about to cut these carrots. Like, whoa! Okay. Now I'm cutting it in half though. So cutting it in half. I'm thinking about cutting it in quarters, but I don't know. Let's see who says. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I am going to chop these right now. Okay. We're going to dice these carrots up like a mug. Dice them like a mug. What is a mug? You know you were growing up, Karen, like yeah. she like a mug. She like a mug, like someone please Google mug for us. <laughs> I've been wanting to know this for a very long time. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> like a mug. Chilling like a mug. Mug shopping like a mug. Eating like a mug. Eat 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 like a mug. What's a mug? Like you dumb like a mug. Like what the heck is a mug? Okay, so now we have chopped.
dropped just that one up and that is what it produced maybe about a quarter cup of carrots so we're gonna put that in there and let that cook let it cook like a mug let you eat like a mug gotta stink like a mug don't stink don't stink just eat like a mug chop them carrots chop them carrots like a mug chop them tomatoes like a mug <laughs> Chop the onions like a mug, but don't cry, don't cry like a mug. Hey, we are going to chop, let me pour the rest of this into the skillet. Watch me pour this into the skillet. I'm gonna make this look not so crazy hopefully please don't go pee pee <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay so next we are going to cut up this green bell pepper and just now this one we're just gonna roughly chop it does not have to be really small oh, I have slice it up slice it up slice it up and then while I'm slicing this I am going to stir this up let's see again we want this to be very meaty tender but still meaty for our skillet lasagna we're gonna put a tablespoon of sea salt in here Just sprinkle it on. We're gonna put a can of this uh, diced to organic diced tomatoes. Y'all, we ain't gonna have enough space for this. Look at this. Ooh. Okay. It's gonna be kind of good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna add. A half a bag at a time of the spinach as it cooks down then as it cooks down then we will um, add more all right Karen and I are going to make this nut meat that is going to go into the lasagna skillet now you'll want to add your soaked pumpkin seeds and walnuts in a food processor then add some mushrooms in there along with um, some fresh cilantro or coriander and sliced onions and some fresh ginger root in there okay, so Karen is gonna pulse the nut meat over here Okay, because if you keep going, then it's gonna um, if you keep going, then it's gonna just be um, it's gonna make it mushy. You don't want it to be mushy. Oh. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna smell. We're gonna put some sea salt in there. We're gonna put about like a half, like maybe a teaspoon or three quarters of a tablespoon. Put it in there. Okay. Then you're gonna post that again. Okay. Okay, and so you just pulse it. Chicken. Bam, bam, bam. Chicken. Bam, bam, bam. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. You missed, you missed the cue. Just doing that. I am going to put the rest of this on here. You guys, look at how this has simmered down. Okay, we're going to put some more spinach in here. You want to put the rest of the bag of spinach in here. You can, um, oh, get a spoon and stir that up. So you're gonna turn this back. Turn it, okay. Take it off. As you can tell, I've never done this before. Exactly. We're gonna put some more spinach in here, and then we're gonna put some some tomato sauce. A um a 26 ounce. Oops, I just put that in front of the camera. I'm gonna do a 26 ounce of tomato sauce. Ooh. Ooh. Now my hand is so red Make you wanna get out of bed So I'm gonna dump this We're gonna 
Hope that this don't splash or make you crash. Okay. I wish you would. They look so good, good, good. I wish We're you would. I'm going to take this nut meat. Voila. Mm. It smells mm. fresh, right? It smells so fresh. Okay, now Karen is going to dump this into the skillet here. We're gonna put some oil in here. Now we're gonna dump this into the skillet and cook this nut meat. We're gonna cook this meat today. But it's a plant-based All right, so I, while Karen Michelle is over here um, doing the nut meat, I am going to do the lasagna and sauce. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of sauce. Oh, y'all, this sauce looks so good. It looks so meaty and saucy. This nut meat. In the skillet, y'all. Skillet lasagna. So oh. I have already shown Karen Michelle how to do the bottom roll. Now she is going to take the noodles and the sauce and add it, and I am going to add the nut meat in between, y'all. Go ahead, Karen. Show them how it's done. Okay, so I hope I don't mess anything up, but I think I got it. So I'm going to grab some of this sauce here, and I'm going to pour it on top of the noodles. The lasagna noodles spread it out there grab a little bit more uh-huh uh -huh. spread it okay okay and what are you gonna do now i am gonna grab some of this good old nut meat because you know we all love some nuts nut meat everybody loves a nut you know so <laughs> i surrender to the nuts And here we are layering the sauce and the nut meat on top. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, skilly lasagna. Okay, you guys, and now it is time for the taste test of this skillet lasagna. Let's see. Vegan style. Mm -mm. Okay, this is good. This is really good. Karen, what do you think about this? Wonderful, excellent, everything I wish for and hope for. She would, she's so extra. It tastes like meat. Mm -hmm. It's not meat. Sure. Coming from a meat eater. Yeah. Mm, okay, so I will post the recipe. And if you like what I'm doing, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And um, tell me what you think. If you would try this recipe or if you would not try it. All right, you guys. So, bye. Have a good day.